Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm so happy to be back in studio and with the real Lara B as we finally go through and unseal these documents from the JD trial. Oh, uh, man, Lara, I've been away, and so I'm connecting, and thank you for helping me update. Uh, you guys should know, we I teamed up with Andrea, Lara, and Tug. The four of us were in a thread trying to make sure that you guys knew we were trying to unseal these documents because, personally, I want it all out there. We, uh, there's a lot of media outlets that are trying to say, oh, the Johnny Depp fans, in fact, I'm going to call one out. I can't help it. I can't help it, Lara. Johnny Depp yeah. defenders crowdsourcing thousands to pay to unseal new pages and texts that support Heard's case. Nonsense. We're going to debunk that in a second. Out and outing a bunch of Marilyn Manson texts that support ER's case in the process. First of all, why are you assuming all Johnny Depp defenders are supporting Marilyn, for one? That's, again, you showing your own terrible journalism and bias, Cat. Yeah. You're just proving your ignorance over and over, but worse, your bias. And guys, there's so much media bias. Lara, you were seeing it too. They've sort of yeah. cherry picked a lot of these negative things, and now they're trying to villa, like they're trying to make us look like, oh, we got d done, guys. We want full transparency. That's all I've ever wanted on this case. And of course, if we get the documents, they should be out for others. Uh, all this stuff, information should be public, except for medical information, which we're going to talk about. But I, I want to react to the media's response. I want to get Lara's response, and I want to go through because a lot of people are focusing and cherry picking some negative Johnny stuff, which mostly we all already knew. He's already. Yeah. Up to it. A lot of it. I want to go through the like five of the biggest takeaways about Amber that we didn't necessarily know about. So we're going to go through that in a second. Before we get there, Laura, I want you to respond to this, to the unsealing, to the media's reaction. Uh, go ahead. Uh, well, there's a lot of misstatements here. First of all, Johnny Depp did not ask for anything to be sealed. That was a court order that's normal. They filed their liminies. That means I don't want to the, judge, the jury to see this. I think this is inadmissible. And both sides did that. Both sides had about 24 issues that they didn't feel that was too prejudicial to go to the jury. The court sealed these documents because the court didn't want them to leak that a potential juror could see them before jury, because before trial, because these may not be admissible. And a lot of it was admitted. A lot of it wasn't. So, and it was pretty fair on both sides, but it wasn't uh, Depp's intention to hide things by sealing it. That was the court. Now, at the end, uh, at the last hearing, after when they signed the verdict, the judge said, I am unsealing all the documents because um, Elaine had filed to keep them sealed. And Johnny and was no. like, yes, go, go judge. But who, did, who didn't want it unsealed, Laura? Elaine fought to have it not to remain sealed. She put a lot of salacious garbage in there to shock the judge. Um, and that's what they do. That's what lawyers do. Motions are allegations with shade. Emily D. Baker says it all the time. They're not proven facts. It's a way to persuade a judge or someone to, to believe me, take my side. And it's also protected speech. They can pretty much say anything they want in a motion, tear your Smear, smear you in every way and you can't sue them for defamation because motions are protected speech legal documents are protected and tmg took advantage of that and they did a ton of it yeah and look there's a lot of uh i, I saw i think this is marlo was another one we're, oh yeah he came after we'll me. talk about I, i've 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 seen him before but we'll talk about this live we're gonna go much more to depth into how the media smear campaign and everything happened uh the, the media is just so upset because they didn't cover this trial correctly they just did not think Johnny was going to win. They just right. believe all women and that oh, it is what it is. And now that they have egg in their face, they're all, <laughs> a lot of them are in this weird attack mode. And I think a lot of them, like this Marlo guy, uh, Kat, there, there is a f handful of them now that are sort of making their name by going against the grain and sort of yeah. rallying against us for doing the job better than they did. Uh, and it's really interesting to see it all go down. And they, and they called you out. They called Tug out. They've called a couple of people. Don't trust these people. I was trying to find the tweet quickly. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get in more depth so join us live you're not going to miss our live i, I want to get to the biggest uh takeaways because while the media is out there sort of focusing on the uh, uh, surprisingly not surprisingly i guess laura focusing on a lot yeah. of the negative johnny tidbits that's there's a few uh there's a lot of just also just falsities uh amber claims she lost 47 million to 50 due to johnny refusing to accept half of his pay uh again this is important to point out because herd's legal team claimed in pre-tile dot pre documents you got to read what's actually these are lawyers saying things that aren't yeah. necessarily true right laura Right. And it's also what Amber's reporting to her lawyers, which is not necessarily true. And this goes back to an email from the divorce where they were trying to reach a settlement. And she already knew that Johnny was in financial issues and wasn't telling her lawyers, apparently. 
And she was like, uh, yeah, I think he made this much for a movie, so I should probably get that. Well, when they were going to go after it, she realized they would have to go into a massive financial audit, like we saw with Brad and Angelina. It could take years and years and years, and Amber just wanted money. That's all she ever wanted was money. So they negotiated a settlement, and we know coming out of it from trial, Ed White testified, we saw the contracts, it was only $24 million for during their marriage. Not fifty to six million that she it was only twenty four million that he got paid. So she would have gotten twelve million. Well what she ended up getting was seven million in cash, seven and a half million paid off of all her debt, and Johnny had to pay the taxes on it. So it came up to close to thirty million, Ed White testified to. Yeah. So they're just twisting it. And it's funny because where is this coming from? Oh, interesting. The Daily Beast written by Marlo Stern, who's calling out and, Lara for being more informed in the case than his own reporting is. So you wonder why was, he's upset, Lara. Yeah, and look, it was updated because we already called him out on his first version. Yeah. So he made some changes, but it's still bad. It was worse. And so this is why you got to realize why the mainstream media and people like Marlo here and Kat and others, guys, they're just ignorant to the case and they're coming in with hot takes without any actual research. And, and Lara has done so much research on this yeah. case. To label her a Johnny Depp stan is, is so ignorant. She was there at the UK trial when, when Marlo and others weren't even paying attention. Uh, and all this is really important. All right, so you got to know where all this is coming from and who's actually writing these articles and why they're focused on the salacious stuff. I honestly think we, we need to ignore these people more, Laura, because they want our hate clicks. They're not yeah. getting the clicks anymore. Their, their bosses are probably up there at butt saying, what do you, why are all these YouTubers doing better than you? You got to figure out a way to do it. So that the easiest trick is to create, you know, a, let me, well, let me piss people off. Let me piss off a base of people so they come and then that's engagement because they don't yeah. need you to like them. They need you to engage. And if you're engaging, they stay relevant. And so yeah. I think we do have to disengage Laura at some point. Uh, qu qu any other thoughts on this before I move on to the, our, well, our top five? There's no way, there's no way he read the documents. It appears that he took Amber Heard's stands uh, posts and just ripped them off completely. Yes. He also had a whole section about uh, all these, te all these evidence, uh, sorry, witnesses that Johnny blocked that didn't testify. And if he watched the trial, he would have known they testified. All her expert witnesses testified. So he, I think he had to take that out of the article. Yeah, and what's idiot. interesting is he doesn't focus on, you know, the unsealing. TMZ did, thankfully. That they didn't. Good. They didn't admit to this, uh, which is a big one. We all knew about this for a while. Uh, but yeah, Whitney, Amber's sister, admitted to a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. And it was not included. Johnny didn't get this in, even though it should have, and they should have, the lawyers should have figured out more. Uh, but the, Whitney, her sister, told her boss and a lot of other people in that company that yeah. it was Amber who cut off the finger, as well as pu nearly pushed her down the stairs. Uh, yeah. So a lot of this, it's harder to just sort of ignore this. They'll accept the hearsay from others, and if it's against Johnny, have you noticed that? Marlo, yes. Kat, all of them will accept any hearsay that helps their narrative, but when there's legitimate, respectful people who are saying the other side, they just ignore it or don't address it. It's really it's it, they they talk about reporting fairly in journalism. Cover it all. We are not afraid of this. In fact, live I'm going to go through one of the biggest Amber Stans threads and debunk it because it's filled with crap, guys. They don't want you to hear the other side. They block you from responding. They ignore you. These are not tactics of transparency. But Laura, I, I want to get to some of the bigger takeaways because you did an amazing thread. And you guys, if you weren't following Laura over on Twitter, go follow Laura Bakov on Twitter. She's also on YouTube. Uh, uh, she'll be streaming later today as well uh, at our round uh, this afternoon. So if you miss it or af check yeah. her out after our stream and go watch hers follow up. But I, I want to go through some of these big reveals because this one was massive when she explained yeah. this to me uh, because I know she read it all. She can help me break it down. I like to have experts. If I can't know what I bring in someone who does. And uh, after reading it all and you, and you were breaking down some of the biggest reveals, this one was immensely telling. So let me, let me, let me set it up for the audience and then you cl clarify if I'm incorrect here. Basically there were sealed portions of the UK verdict from Judge Nichols, who we knew, Nichol, who was, you know, we always have said, didn't make any sense. There was massive no. bias. We've talked to Black Belt Barrister, who was a barrister in the UK, who's already now filing an appeal and trying to, to get this un figured out because he, he it was so biased in his decision making and he ignored so much of Johnny's team. It just looked like he didn't care what Johnny said. He was just going to believe Amber. But this was in yeah. insanely telling, and I got to be careful of how we say it, but. Basically, in this new reveal from an incident in Hicksville, the cavity search, if you guys will remember, that did come up. Judge Nichols admits here in this document he does not believe it happened. 
He's yeah. like, well, it doesn't make any sense why the witness wouldn't have known this. Uh, it's more striking that has been president of this. And blah 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 blah. Miss Sexton, who was the uh, the uh, the acting coach, who was there, was a confidant of Miss Heard, a person whom Miss Heard did not report. SA by Mr. Depp. I conclude that the defendants have not shown that Mr. Depp essayed Miss Heard at Hicksville by subjecting her to a painful cavity search. Now this is massively telling because yeah. as Laura points out in this thread that he somehow <laughs> changes his mind in the other one because Miss Sexton saw Amber crying when recounting in, the in, story. So therefore suddenly the story changes and in the one in Australia, well, now uh well, Miss Sexton knew uh the allegations, she believed them to be true, Miss Heard related to them, she was crying. She was speaking in chopped sentences. Miss Sexton had no reason to believe these allegations to be false. Mr. Depp is right that Miss Heard's wrong about the date of the incident could have yeah. been the 8th because they were in the hospital being treated. So Nichols knew Nichols knew Amber was caught. Johnny was like, well, it's impossible, Judge, because I wasn't even there the dates Amber said. But Judge is like, well, doesn't I don't believe it because she might have gotten... Her error in the detail does not cause me to disbelieve the account. However, you did hear. I mean, yeah. I, I, I can't even begin to explain the hypocrisy, the frustration, the bias. How can you say she... I don't believe her in this. She's you. lying about one, but not the other, Laura. And Sexton was involved in both of them. Sexton was at Hicksville. So he's saying because Sexton was there and you didn't tell her and, and you didn't think this was a, an S, a situation, I don't believe you. But you told Sexton in 2019 about Australia from 2015 and you were crying to her. So I'm going to believe Sexton's account. She believed you. So therefore, I'm going to believe you even though you got the dates wrong. And the irony also is sex is admitted she has trouble crying. So yeah. I bet you there were no tears in that cry either. Probably not. But somehow sex didn't be, I wish she'd come forward and take this away because that would be very telling. If sex was like, you know what? And after watching the trial, I wonder if we could get, I, I, I wish she would come on, interview her after this. Do you really still believe all this given everything um, now that you've seen? It'd be very telling because if she were to come forward, it would negate the essay and a lot of the UK filings as well, which is what so many Amber stands just go and say, but the cred credibility issue is here. How many times do we have to catch her lying, Laura, before yeah. suddenly we realize, okay, well, yeah, this person's not credible. She's our, The Australian charges are coming. I believe it firmly. But yeah, I guess, oh no, let's, let's believe this nonsense. All right, number two, Johnny Depp yeah. versus Amber. Ben Cho Chu lays out that Dr. Anderson, member, mutual abuse person, uh, disproved yeah. Amber's TRO, claiming Amber tried to change the rules. Laura, break this down for us. So Anderson gave testimony. She's the marriage counselor. She said that she believed in mutual abuse. She believed Johnny hit her. But then she backtracked at the end and said, well, actually, Johnny never said that to me. Amber told me that. That's why I believed it. So when she found and she knew that Amber also instigated physical violence, she knew that. So if she felt it was uh, legally wrong to get a TRO when Amber was a participant. Well, yes, careful the words. At yes. least. Yeah. Uh, uh, initiated physical. Yep, physical. It, it was and so here you have the doctor <laughs> admitting, yeah, I don't buy this. I don't, this TRO shouldn't have been done. This doesn't make sense. I know, again, another huge reveal, which isn't any of these Johnny, anti Johnny threads because they don't address any of this stuff. Uh, ben Chu also right, argued that uh, the redacted because of the HIPAA waiver, Dr. Anderson seems told her lawyers not to get the improper TRO. This is, this is, a, this is a big deal, guys. It's a big deal yes. that their own uh, the therapist was like, I don't support this TRO because it doesn't make sense. I did. Another one, right? Another one that they don't want to see. Number three, right? So I was say, and the judge oh, agreed that, that all of that was redacted from the jury. It was there. She said it, but they redacted it. Right. So they didn't get to see that the that the doctor said it shouldn't have been done. Yes. Oh, okay, but it's all it's all Johnny hiding everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Well, right, yeah. let's let's be clear. As they hid the whole Jennifer Howell testimony. Now we've covered this in depth, but yeah. not only was it that, but there was another one. Uh, Amber was so drunk she could barely stand up on the red carpet of the Heaven's Art of Elysium uh, here, where where they were. Now this was she was a good friend of Whitney's, credible witness, and here she is at an event. Beyond all the other stuff that it, Jennifer has admitted that we've covered in depth, which go search Jennifer Howell and the allegations it's it's yeah. damning stuff that amber fans don't want to they just completely ignore her 
There's no, I don't even know how you would discredit this person. Completely charitable, nice person, doesn't seem to be on either side, wants to do what's well, right. Well, she was Amber's friend. And was Amber, was on Amber's side. This is not a Johnny friend, a Johnny employee, just a complete person, a rando, if you will, uh, who's out there trying to just tell the truth. Uh, and to add to it, there was more that she was so drunk she could barely stand up. But we always are focused, right, Lara? On, oh, look at this picture of Johnny on his siesta. Right. Oh, he's, he's the worst. What a monster. Uh, but no, it was we, we didn't get to get into any of Amber's uh, issues with substances as well. Uh, now we have another one here. This one's uh, this one was surprising to me, and I, it makes sense why because I, I always was wondering why well, there were so many witnesses, even for Amber, that I was like, right. where are they? Uh, and I, I'm sure Johnny's team would have loved to have asked them questions. Taisha, a huge Tasha, the ex girlfriend, a huge one because there was a you know of a V accusation against her. They were Amber yeah. was <laughs> cops got her, put her in because she you know, did that to her own girlfriend. Uh, they then later tried to spin it and say, oh, well, they were they didn't like us being gay. That was then debunked because the lawyer herself was a lesbian. It was like, how dare you? What are you talking about? That had nothing to do with it. There was so much spin and, oh, well, well she took it back. She took it back. I wonder why she took it back. She's with Amber. I'm sure Amber demanded she take it back. Uh, but the reality is the cops saw what they saw. And right. it would have been amazing to talk to the girlfriend and so she was planning to do a deposition along with the hairstylist and others that Johnny's team was ready to do their follow-up with. And at the 11th hour, and in all of these instances, we now have unsealed all these documents from uh, Brown Rudnick, Johnny's team, where they continuously pull these depositions at the last minute. I'll basically, so then there's not enough time for Johnny to ask any of these questions. These are important witnesses of Amber's that you'd think would be incredibly important, Laura, right? To have on the yeah. record to speak. And Brown Rudnick's here trying to get these cross examinations. And whoops, sorry, they're not coming. They're not coming forward. This is not a good look. No, what they did was the night before, they're supposed to get the Zoom link for the, for the deposition that's going to be videoed. And, and Brown Rudnick is like, hey, where's our link? Oh, we're not going to go forward with that one. So they were getting basically less than 24-hour notice. And this was Lauren Shapiro, the one who was supposed to call the 911, the guy who did the hair where it was supposed to be pulled out of her head, obviously her girlfriend and her dad. I don't think her dad got served. But the point is, why didn't these things go through at the last minute? And I think it's because uh, uh, Amber had to have the, the come to Jesus talk with Elaine, like, I don't think they're going to be good for me. I don't think you want Brown and Rudnick questioning them. Right. And at the last hour, they disappeared. But Brown and Rudnick very much wanted to question them. But if you were, if you read threads by Marlo Stern over at the Daily Beast, he's clearly getting angry because we're we're exposing him for not being honest, and that's why you guys yeah. don't trust these outlets anymore because they're spinning it in their own little way. Uh, and so here's Jack's responding to Marlo, one of many journalists out there who are trying to put out these anti-threads, etc. Basically, based off of Amber threads, not even doing their own homework because he's right. caught messing up half of it. Uh, here's Jack's calling out. Marlo and bringing up another reveal that we had uh, apparently during a deposition uh, there was an old lawyer of Johnny's who Johnny was suing and stole uh, allegedly did some mispractice bad actions to um, well turns out he has dementia now Elaine knew this during the deposition yeah. uh, and during the deposition uh, he she basically was trying to get him to say he didn't remember things to try to help Amber's case knowing that this witness now had dementia. C clarify yeah. some more, Lara, for us. Well, what she was doing was when she caught on that he was saying, I don't recall that, th that means you're, she was trying to twist it and say, I don't recall that happening as a negative. And the perfect example is that she would anticipate uh, questions like, did, did oh, the big one was, you, there was a big fight in Australia about the post nup and Amber called you. Depp claims Amber called you. And he says, I don't recall that as if it didn't happen, but he doesn't recall it because he doesn't recall anything. He doesn't recall when he worked for Johnny. It was bad. It was really bad. And just gross. Uh, so she started to manipulate the deposition questions. Yeah, so the, that's our five, but then one little bonus just to and, and add to more of the lies. Rocky Pennington, Amber's best friend, one of their star witnesses, right? Uh, right. Basically admitted in her own deposition that didn't, I guess this got unsealed as well, admitted that the story in Hicksville was a lie. That yeah. didn't happen. Had a complete different change of events, of the re recollection of things. Didn't try to get twist the woman's arm. Um, but there was nothing aggressive or anger from JD. Um, nope. And uh, this was Amber's own witness. 
confirming yeah. it. So we had uh, so much of this was revealed and unsealed throughout the documents, but that's not what you're going to see online in these threads, these reporters who are out there trying to just tr- yeah. make us look like bozos for wanting full transparency. These are journalists. These are yeah. freaking journalists who are trying to spin it. Like we're the ones hiding something and we're the bozos when you yeah. don't even read it. And you're just now connecting it. Oh, and now we're Marilyn Manson supporters. I've never said that. I'm, I've am i I've pulled the Rev. Evan Rachel Wood card. I don't know who to believe in that case yet. And I'm doing my own homework before I make any re, uh, any reservations, as I know a lot of people are, because it's a much more complicated case to JD. So I don't even understand why this is, why Marilyn Manson has anything to do with all this. The text, everything else, doesn't prove Johnny did anything. And it's very yeah. frustrating distraction that these journalists are doing to basically try and bait the next story that they can hopefully get and, and clicks on, which is disgusting to me. But that's the well, truth. We're well, going to break down more in the live. But Laura, final words from you on all this. I think we have to remember that motions are allegations. They're not proof. And what happened is when Elaine files a motion, Depp gets to respond. And that's what's not happening. They're only pulling the one side of these stories, like the one about uh, the audio tapes were edited. Uh, no, Amber edited those. You didn't get the whole story and then submitted them to the UK. And then Johnny had to turn them over. Just because Johnny turned them over, he wasn't the one who edited them. So that's just a perfect example that they're taking these old motions that are being used in these liminies to support it. We already heard them. They were already ruled on. Depp got to answer to them, which the journalists are not reporting, and they were overruled. They were denied. Yep, and uh, instead we're going to learn about uh, weird uh, medical conditions of Johnny's that sh- none of my business, uh, and uh, it is what it is. So uh, there's no other revelations from... I've gone through the Johnny revelations, and we're going to go through them live today. I'm going to go through an amber thread to break it all down and just t- show you how it doesn't prove anything. Uh, we're yeah. going to break it all down later today live, so make sure you join us. I'll put a, a, I'll put a card at the end. In the meanwhile, before I do that, though, make sure you're also following the real Lara B. Go over on Twitter to Lara Bakov. You can find her there. Her YouTube link is there as well. Go show her some supporters, some support uh, over at 15K Creator. Woohoo! I did. So proud of you. Thank you so much for all the do- work Thank you do. You. Uh, unlike Marlo and others trying to say that you're some Johnny Depp stand and shill, we know that's not the case. You're here for the truth and justice, and you know this case backwards more than anybody. So always appreciate you bringing your knowledge here. Thank you for being here. Go support Thanks. Lara and join us. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to both channels by hitting that subscribe button, for some reason, they keep unsubscribing i'm still stuck on 666 please go check that you're subscribed so we can get past the devil's number uh and at least get to 667 appreciate you guys and again we'll be live i'll put it on the left there the left box will be able to alert you when we're live or we might be live right now so come join us tonight later this afternoon around 1 p.m eastern standard time see you guys then bye